welcome to MBS Show, episode number 328. I'm your host, Roman Senzo. Joining me today is Twilight Genesis. G'day, mate. How are you doing, man? I'm alright. Yourself? I'm good, I'm good. I I, <laughs> I had the hiccups slash burps. And yeah, that, that was annoying for a bit. Like, before we started recording, I had that. And I think you'd hear some of it. Sorry about that. Yeah, I could hear it. And I, I am not envious of it. Yeah, nobody loves it, man. Nobody loves it. But anyhow. So, before we head into the news, just need to warn you guys at the homes, we've only got one news for today. And it's kind of, um, well, kind of embarrassing, really, because it's been a situation where there's not much to work with. Um, not really saying uh, the end of hiatus or whatever, like, it's already end of hiatus, but it's just not much news. Like, I've traveled across the EQDs and whatnot, and I haven't seen anything worth um, noting or worth talking about. So yeah, um, as for now, we're just going to go in and do this one news properly, eh? Sounds like a plan to me. All right, yeah. And in the first news... Japanese Monopoly pop-up store returns on August 25th. Yay! So, uh, what's this all about? I have no real idea. It could be one of those places where you can buy pony toys and just, well, um, not really pony toys, but just buy products. Uh, do you know anything about this one, man? I don't have a blur. Yes. It says it calls it a pop up store, so I'm assuming it's a case of like it's a little shop that comes and goes and doesn't actually have a a set place that it is in, and it just like like um like mobile food truck. Mm-hmm. They just sort of set up at random places and then disappear and then come back on a different place on a different day. I understand it's one of those stores where uh, the rent is cheaper than the regular store. Yes. And I'm just reading through here, and it's kind of what you mentioned. Like, it's not really their kind of thing, but pop-up store will be located in the huge Japanese toy store, Kiriland Harajuku. Uh, Give me a second. I'm going to click on the link, and if I remember right, it was a YouTube link. So, yeah, future me. Edit this one out. Yeah, okay. I managed to mute it before I can do anything, yes. So, yeah, it's technically... Ah, I see. If you go check the video, right? They have their store there, like uh, their main building. But inside the store, there's a multiple section for uh, brands and whatnot. Like you got the Doraemon, Snoopy. Uh, what else they have? Uh, what else do they have? Uh, okay, uh, the Gachapon machines, uh, Hello Kitty. And then uh, you have your anime figurines and whatnot. So it looks like one of those stores, you know what I mean? It looks pretty interesting at the very least. I can't want to go to Snoopy World. <laughs> Snoopy World, yeah. And yeah, they, 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 there's a lot of things here. There's a lot of things here. And I think Pony will be here too. Oh, they even have Harry Potter. That's interesting. So yeah, um, Ponies will be there. Uh, if any of you guys are going to Japan, uh, go to the show notes to find the address. And yeah, you'll get to see the stuff. There's a, there's a lot of stuff here. That's interesting. Huh, okay. For example, of stuff that you can find. Uh, oh, wow. I am not good at Japanese. Uh, from what I can tell, you'll have pencil cases, mugs, uh, phone cases for your iPhone and uh, the branded phone. Uh, you'll also have Japanese exclusive My Little Pony comics. Not really. It's just the, what you would call this, English comics just translated to Japanese. So, yeah, nothing exclusive there. Uh, more f- case, um, more phone cases and many more. <laughs> Sorry, I, I don't really read Japanese, so I got no idea what I'm looking at. That's all right. There's probably more stuff that is not listed on the poster as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But you know what? I, I do like that phone case. There There's a, what you call this, iPhone 8, 7, 6S and 6 phone case. And I do like that one case there, but uh, it's all in... It's how to put it. Um, it's not really known if it's a large size or not. So yeah, I think the two thousand eight hundred or two thousand nine hundred eighty case is for the 
plus version. And for you guys at home who are wondering how much is 2,980 yen is, I'll help you. 2,880 yen to American dollars is going to be $26 and, well, just say $27. Yep, for a phone case. And these phone cases are not the best in terms of sturdiness. And if you're wondering how much is in um, Aussie dollars, 37 bucks. Yeah, of course, it's more expensive for us, by, as always. By $10, my friend, by $10. And if you're uh, wondering how much, could be for, worse. if you're wondering how much is it for me, ha, it's going to be one hundred and ten dollars. Go me. <laughs> uh boy, that is pretty bad. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, but anywho, that's the new story this week. Oh boy. Ah, uh, well. Okay, let's head into my favorite topic, and said topic is what have we been doing with our week? So, Twy. It's been a while since you've been here. So, how was your week, man? What have you been doing? Um, I recently started a temporary volunteer job at a Salvation Army op shop, mm. uh, just so I could keep my uh, my unemployment benefits at the moment until I get more work. But since last time I was on here, I've started streaming to twitch i think actually i mentioned that last time i was on here that i had just started i think you mentioned that you were fresh out of the box without the experience and still working on things yeah so far as it's gone i don't i haven't done too much to make my streams look super flashy i've got like a couple little uh little things that go on like uh my stream should show the chat or at least the most recent part of the chat and Little little animations when people follow me. That's cool. How do you do it, man? Like I've always seen um, streamers do it. Like um, for me, I've seen uh, Maximilian dude, and his streams are always fun. Well, not really see it. Sometimes I pop in, and that's rarely once in a blue moon. But he usually uploads them to YouTube, so that's one thing. So I get to see the experience there too. A lot of things. Just things you you can add for. Uh, I use OBS to stream, mm-hmm. and anything that the uh, the gameplay or anything that appears on screen uh, is sorted out through that. Although static images, I'm pretty sure I can just add through that without doing anything fancy. But things like the uh, alert animation and the uh, the chat box, I get widget links for those from Streamlabs. Streamlabs, uh-huh. I've heard of them. You mentioned this to me before and I checked them out and it seems that they're pretty good. Yeah, as far as I can tell, a lot of people use Streamlabs and they there's a lot of different things you can do with it. I haven't sat down and like dug through it to see what all the different little things I can pull off with it is, but as my channel grows, I will probably get more things uh, like custom animations or something and uh overlays for each individual game i play and st- stuff like that makes sense and yeah uh i it's one of those things where streamlab does make things a little bit easier by having everything all in one spot uh, if you want to customize you're welcome to do it i guess yeah it, it's pretty easy uh once you get the hang of the website which takes like five ten minutes tops if I'm not mistaken, you can use Streamlabs OBS, right? Uh, yeah, they've got this Streamlabs OBS thing um, that they... I, I don't really know much about that specifically. Uh, I just use my regular OBS and take the the source widget links from Streamlabs website when I use the stuff from them so far. Oh, okay. Um, I might try and use Streamlabs OBS, see how that works. But other than that, uh, what else, man? Like, you mentioned streaming. So what are you streaming? Video games? Art? Uh, video games, because I am still terrible at art and refuse to even attempt to do it uh, most of the time because I'm just so bad. But I've been playing a lot of War Thunder lately. Oh, okay. For people who know what War Thunder, uh, who don't know what War Thunder is, it's like, it's similar to World of Tanks, except uh, in my opinion, it's generally more fun to play, and it's a lot easier to progress to higher tiers through. Mm. And it only has about half as many tanks, but 
the uh, everything feels just a bit smoother. And I've also been playing. Uh, I did do a lot of PUBG for a while. I was uh, regularly streaming PUBG and a bit of Fortnite Save the World mode for a short while, but uh, the player base in my area for both of those games seems to have dropped off a bit, so finding uh, finding matches takes ages. Oh, wow. Like, Could it be because of... Well, no, because you already bought uh, PUBG, so <laughs> it's something else then. Yeah, no, I they they did release in PUBG a the beta period for custom games. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of people have probably just gotten wrapped up in playing custom games. Mm, okay, but wait, custom games is just you and me, right? And some other friends in some group, something like that. No, uh, you you can have like a full hundred people in custom games. Four hundred people? What the f- how? Uh, uh, just 100 people. Okay. 100 people, but yeah. still, but, th- that's a yeah, lot there's, of numbers. There's going to be a lot of people, I assume, making cus- uh, custom games, so there'll be a lot of empty custom game lobbies oh, wow. that people are jumping into, rather than going into the uh, the the normal public game uh, matchmaking. Mm, all right, all right. It, it just puzzles me. Like You have games where... You just bought the game and you don't play it at all, especially like PUBG, where I think what it's twenty dollars, thirty dollars, something like that. Or is it a full game, sixty dollars? I'm not sure what the price is at the moment, actually, for PUBG. But it, yeah, it's it it costs more than it really should. Okay, it's thirty dollars on Steam, and yeah, I mean it's thirty dollars, and you're just playing multiplayer with it, and then once that's done, you're not gonna play it anymore. And it sounds to me like. A very bad investment. Yeah, it's a game that you would expect the the there to be a, co- a consistent stream of new content and updates and such mm-hmm. to uh, keep people invested. But it, it's been a bit slow on those. It did receive a new map uh, not too long ago, a few months ago, and uh, some new weapons. But ever since the the event pass period finished. Mm-hmm. I I just haven't really touched the game because I went from getting matches really quickly to on the Oceanic servers matches taking twenty five minutes or more to happen on solos. While I can play on the NA region, I generally prefer not to because I don't trust it and lag. Yeah, there's lag plus there's all all the cheaters and stuff end up on that server. Yeah, oh well, it ain't gonna be fun. Aside from that, uh, I started playing the new God of War uh, oh, yeah. today. How is it? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I'm I'm quite enjoying it. I've got it on pause at the moment, so <laughs> when when we're done recording, I'm gonna go back to it for for a few minutes. All right, yeah. before I jump into streaming. All right, yeah. I heard a lot of good things. Silver said that he finished it and I really highly enjoyed it. So yeah, I heard a lot of good things. How is Silver? Silver is doing well. Silver is doing well. That's good. I haven't spoken to him since we we did the the Kung Pao review. Yeah, that has been a while. We really need to get back together and do something. Yes, that it will be much. Uh, it will it'll be a lot of fun to do an, another review like that. Yeah, like we've been talking, not really hundred percent on it. Like uh, there's a few other. Uh, movies that i want to review uh example is uh, where else uhf and one movie that kind of sparked my interest because silver mentioned about silver stream and her obsession with stairs and that's ace ventura 2 uh, ace ventura 2 that that was an awkward movie to watch <laughs> yeah it, the, the first one is quite amusing, but the second one just comes across as a little bit cringy. Yeah, but still, it's one of those movies, right? Uh, I don't know, I mean, thinking about it, not 100% sure. But still, uh, there's a lot of movies on the list, and I'll talk to you about it later on. So, anywho, uh, on to me, with me, with me. What have I been doing, what have I been doing with my week? Um, in all honesty... Uh, nothing much. Um, like I mentioned before previously, I played a bit of the Mega Man X Legacy Collection 1 and 2. Finished 1, highly enjoyed 1. Uh, now playing through 2, and I hate 2. 
2 is the worst. I really, really hate 2. 2 is not fun. Like Mega Man 5, 6, and 7. Like X Collection. No, they're not fun. Not fun at all. Oh, seriously, I got really angry at that game just because it frustrates me to no end. And I'm not saying that I'm a bad game or anything like that. It's just that it could be the product of its time. It could be little details that infuriate me. I just don't know. I am pissed off at that game. If I were to record myself playing the game, you would see me go, Ah, this is stupid. I haven't touched a Mega Man game since the last time I played the copy that I had on an original Game Boy. Oh, wow, the original Game Boy. That's fun, too. I don't think I ever beat it, either. It is a very hard game. From what I heard, yes. But still, the music in the retro Mega Man games are awesome, man. Yeah, those were pretty good music. Uh, Music in old video games in general was great. Yeah, they had to make them awesome because they were limited to what they can do. Uh, If you remember, like, um, the Iron Man stage was pretty cool, or even uh, Wily's Castle Part 1 is not bad in Mega Man 2. And so, I mean, there's a lot of awesome music. That reminds me. I heard uh, there was news. They are adding a feature to the Spyro the Dragon uh, original trilogy remake mm-hmm. that allows you to swap between the new version of the music and the original music. Really now? Yes. So I can bet you almost everyone who's playing the game uh, as a fan of the original will be playing exclusively with the original music. Uh, I don't know. I, I can see some of them would want to hear the arranged soundtrack before playing the original. And tell me, is there a switch to turn the graphics to the original? I don't think there will there'll be a a graphics button like the uh, the Halo remaster oh. had, but just for the music. And I think it's because there was a huge push when some of the new music got leaked, and a lot of people were like, this is not exactly like the original, and this makes us angry. <laughs> and I can understand that. The, the original Spyro games... Uh, especially the first two, had some really, really good music. Wow. But, you know, this reminds me of another news, um, Resident Evil 2 Remake. Uh, If I'm not mistaken, they're going to include some original RE2 music into the game? I'm I'm not sure. I haven't kept up on the uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake stuff. Last I heard about it was a few people saying that they were very upset by what they've heard and seen of it. Oh, like why? I mean, it's not going to be tank control and it's not going to be a static camera angle. So what of it? I think there was something like uh, story changes and stuff Uh, like that. A bit, but it kind of fits the time and day. I mean, uh, from besides from um, Claire A. Leon B. being canon root, uh, I got no idea why you want to be angry at besides the um, story where you know what i'm not gonna talk about it i know of it uh it's kind of spoiler if i talk about it but not really i don't know it's there online for people to criticize and whatnot but i've seen and heard and i heard a lot of people enjoy it like they're excited for the full game to come out oh well if i'm lucky i can get myself set up so when uh fire remake gets released maybe i can stream that Ah, so wait, uh, where are you going to get it on? The PC or the PS4? PS4, it's only releasing on PS4 initially, uh, as far as I can tell. If I'm not mistaken, they're also going to release it on PC. Let me try and find something out. Because the Crash remakes were originally released on uh, PS4 only, until like a couple months ago or something like that, mm-hmm. or earlier this year. So they, they 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 spent the better part of a year at least on the console exclusively before getting a PC and Xbox release. Uh, all right. Uh, here's the news. Uh, it's going to be on the Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. And I think by Microsoft Windows, it's going to be on PC version? Why would they do that? Uh, I don't know. I mean, they put the original Crash uh, 
the the remake of that onto PC. So but that got put on Steam, I believe. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm on the Steam website, and it says here uh, it is going to be on Steam. Yes, Resident Evil Two on Steam pre-order now for sixty dollars. Yes. Well, that's Resident Evil Two. Oh no, no, Resident Evil Two remake. Yeah. So yeah, but I, I'm I'm not fast about that. Spyro is the game that I'm looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spyro the Dragon. Woo! All right. So where was I again in the talking of the stuff? Oh yeah, I also play a bit of the new Street Fighter characters, G and Sagat. They're fun. Haven't really um explored them a bit, but still, it was fun. Uh, and I guess that's about it. Uh, haven't really been doing anything new. Like, besides the Street Fighter and Overwatch, that's about it. Oh, yeah, I remember. I just bought a, a few decks of magic. <laughs> nice. I haven't bought trading cards in ages. I haven't been able to afford it. Oh, yeah. I've been trying to pay people off uh, for certain things and bills and all that for a few months. Mm. Plus, I have to save up for Alicon. Ah, yeah. Uh, which is ever closer. Oh. When's that, by the way? August? No, September. It's from the twenty second, and uh, yeah, twenty second and the twenty third, I believe. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it makes sense because it's on due Saturday and Sunday. So yeah, wow. Hope you have a good time there, man. Me too. I I'm probably going to be broke most of the time while I'm there, but I'll should still be good regardless. Awesome, awesome. And as for me. Uh, in October, I'll be heading to Singapore for another pony convention. Uh, I think it's called Sea Pony Con Seaside View something 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 Dark Side. <laughs> yes. Uh, I wish if they hadn't waited so long to announce it, I probably would have put money aside for it as well. But yeah, it, um, if I if I can get work or something. I owe enough money from streaming, which I am not earning money yet, and I probably won't earn money from it for a while. But yeah, any if I can get spare money, I want to try and make it to see PonyCon again, because I really enjoyed it last year. Oh, yeah, awesome, and I, I'll be waiting for you, and if you do come, I'll put you on another panel. Yes, that'd be great. And also, there's another convention coming uh, in November. It's from the guys who did the Friendship Express, and yeah, Friendship Express is going to be in November. Which week of November? Um, it's 24th to 25th probably. I don't really remember. There's no quote-unquote official news. This is from the grapevine. But yes, uh, pro- the Friendship Express is coming back. But I'm not 100% sure when. Yeah, it, I'm terrible at this. <laughs> they didn't give me any notes to read from. So yeah, I'm not good at this. Anyway, that's the show for this week. If you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show. My personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And Twy, where can the good people find you? I can be found on Twitter and YouTube under at the Midnight Pint. I can also be found on Twitch at twitch.tv slash EPS13. I'm pretty sure that's how the, the, the URL reads. And I can also be found on DeviantArt under Twilight Genesis. All right, all right. I'll put that everything in the show notes. And yeah, also please subscribe and read us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And search your radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyFlife.com. Links are in the show notes. Also... Uh, subscribe to our review and discussion podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you will catch me, Silver Quill, and Severed Heart Song talking about the pony episodes, comics, movies, and and other things that spark our interest. Last time we did something different that uh, was not pony related. Was you know what? Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna leak it out. Uh, we did the Princess Bride. Yeah, we did a review on that one. It was fun. Really, really fun. What about me? Uh, Sorry, man. It's it's all good. I've been busy. I, I probably wouldn't have been able to be on. Uh, probably, yeah. I, I, I'm sure that you will make it there if you if you know we were doing Princess Bride. It was a good, it was a good movie. It was a really good movie. So, anywho, where was I? Yes. Uh, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com. If you support, you'll get 
uh, weeks of the access to the review and discussion podcast exclusive and deleted content and a huge thank you from me talking about thank yous I'd like to thank Lurker Cat myself like Tristan Charles Starstream Lucky Knight and also Amy thank you so much guys for the awesome support stay awesome guys anyway I have been Norman Sanzo I've been Twilight Genesis and we'll guys catch you next week for another amazing episode of the Yes Show see ya cheers cheers